Welcome back everybody. In this video we're going to do parts 12 to 16 of Than Holmes' Millennium Falcon. Okay, before we get into the box, quick little update. So back from issue number four, I believe it was, um, there's a broken part, this part right here, the white metal, uh, the frame here. I reached out to Van Home, got a replacement. That was also broken um, in a packet. So I think third or fourth attempt, I finally got a piece that wasn't broken and it fits perfectly and I managed to update this. Now, a few people did update me um, on my comments on the videos and let me know they had exactly the same issue as me. So there's probably a manufacturing defect. So just a notification or a friendly heads up that if you're the kind of person who stores these parts, um, builds them in you know one go or in the future, check your part number, your issue number four. Um, again, this frame here, a lot of people are having issues with just white metal just snapping or not fitting, um, being brittle. So anyway, so that one's taken care of. So let's open a box and see what we got. I think we have a free gift on this one too. And here we are. So we do have the first free gift, which is a Millennium Falcon baseball hat. There we go. So I guess I have to wear this one now. So a little baseball cap if you're interested. And we have parts looks like a lot of panels in here we have 12 13 14 15 and 16 so another five parts now i know last time around the last couple of you know boxes have been pretty heavy you know going with some painting and dry brushing and stuff this is pretty more pretty much easy assembly i think so we have 12 again we'll look at these in more detail 13 oh a lot of sprues there going on 14 sorry that was um 15 Missing 14s down here. So we've got a lot of doorways going on for interior stuff. And 16. Cool. So let's pull the box out of the way. And first up, we're going to want 12. And let's look at the book real quick. So the magazine um, number 12. Again, more information about the Millennium Falcon, some interior information, some grip pictures and background stuff. You know, over 110 parts, you can get quite a, quite a lot of information, I think, between these, all these books. And as we interest the part, here we go. So next part goes through the assembly. So basically, we're going to build the, um, the bottom frame. Um, yeah, we're basically creating a whole frame here. So that's what we've got going on, just screwing a bunch of frames together. And then um, some of the plating goes on for the whole. So nothing too crazy here. Again, it can be sometimes a little bit difficult to figure out, you know, what's going on here. Um, let me get the parts out. Um, nothing really to see here, just you know, some frames. And um, yeah, I'll get going on this one, put them together, and we'll come back and see kind of how we look. Okay, so put it together and a couple of spare parts here, these two. Now, frame, it says put instructions as loosely placed. We'll attach them firmly later on um, for some reason. Now, I did have all kinds of issues with the frame, my own doing, and I'm going to show you the camera why. This frame here, I put on the other side and tried to screw it in and nothing was happening. So, again, the pictures are a little bit tricky to figure out, but um, hopefully from this image here on this video, you can see that the framing, you know, these plates facing, you know, up. And um, these bars go down um, this way. But once, it, once that's done, it fit perfectly. So user error, um, but fit perfectly. No big issues with this one. Um, and a big chunk of frame. This is really heavy too. So obviously this is just a small area. So this thing's going to be massive and it's going to be very heavy too. So panels aren't really lining up you know, great. But again, they're not screwed in. They're just kind of placed um, loosely on top per the um, instructions. So that's part number 12. Now we're on to part number 13, which I think is more back in the internal detail again. So here's the book. The Millennium Falcon Early History. Again, more information, obviously, about the aircraft. We've got some stuff from the Solo movie. Speed control. And next parts. So we've got, looks like we've got some main hole pipes. Um, a little bit more framing and stuff. Assembling the hold walls. I think we kind of did that already, or maybe we didn't necessarily screw them together, but this is what we did, you know, in previous parts, if you remember. And it looks like we're taking this 
and actually screwing them down now. To, to, so going through here, um, going on, screwing all the panels together and adding this part right here, I believe, from part 12. Looks very similar. Um, and then putting some more pipes. So it looks like we're fitting a wall here and more pipes and moving along and again, more detail. And if you want to do some scratch building, which, you know, this scale is certainly very doable, especially at this price point, you know, you can really go to town and spend you know, a lot of time you know, detailing this. Um, here's some good images there. You can really copy and emulate um, some of the pipes. But to be honest, I think it looks pretty detailed the way it is. But anyway, so I'm getting the bag open. Um, actually, let me show the parts real quick. And I would say it's very important to have a, a very secure storage container or something um, to keep all these parts. Because as we saw with this frame, you know, all these screws and brackets and stuff, you know, from these little bags, um, I keep safely in like a tubware um, for future parts. So just a quick heads up on that one. So another bit of frame, another panel, and um, this is these parts here. It's a little sprue of detail. And that is it. So let me get to work on this one. And um, we'll be right back. So you can see I got some tools out, my sprue cutters and my tweezers needed for this one. Um, so this is kind of where we're at. There's obviously a wall to go here to support these guys on to kind of loose right now. Um, so a few things. Firstly, there's two types of brass screws in these packs, which look very similar. So for the whole video here, I've always used the thin ones, not the fat ones. And uh, fit, fat ones don't really fit so good. The thinner ones, um, it's ever so hard to see. So if you just very carefully look, there is a slight difference in these brass screws. So the thinner brass ones I'm using, um, which seem to do better. Um, and basically, just a pipe to glue in there. Pipe to glue in on top behind this. So before you glue this piece in the console, this glues behind it and then just glue it down and then um, screw, you know, screw the walls in. Now I did make a mistake and put screws on here. Um, there's actually two little plastic studs. So on this tiny little sprue right here, there's, you've got a spare one. Um, you just basically put a touch of glue in and basically just push the studs in and it holds the two walls together. Um, back of my tweezers, flat bit here, just use that to push against it to kind of get it flush. Now again, um, pipes, just make sure they go right way around, put instructions. And there's, there's a little, like, um, as you can see here, a little circle they kind of just mount on. And then once the other side's on, it's going to be more secure. Um, so these go on, a um, couple of pipes on the bottom, and then just super glue these four brackets in. And it's looking pretty awesome. So that's really it. Nothing too crazy there. Um, did notice one of my cushions just came off from my seat. So I'm going to try to get that, glue that one back in. And um, now we're going to move on to number 14, the third of the fifth part, five parts we're doing today. So... 14, I think we're continuing with the interior. Let me move the other stuff out of the way a little bit here. Running out of room. So, 14. More information once again about the Starship. Escape from Tatooine. Again, some really good visual reference material. And, oh. The, um, the kiss right there. So... Moving on, next parts, um, you've got basically the wall, the opposite wall, some internal details, more framing parts, and um, scrolling through here, looks like um, putting some detail onto the wall, and as we did last week or last month, whenever we got the last part, um, we're putting that kind of into the wall with the kind of cushions, kind of interior, and then gluing that in place or, or screwing it in place, and it gives you a completed um, interior. That is it. So I'll get to work on that one. That shouldn't take too long. And um, we'll come right back. And we are complete. Nothing too crazy here. A little tricky to kind of get these pipes lined up onto the bracket, onto the kind of stud here, um, the wall. But just some using the tweezers, managed to get it in. Again, screwing on. And that's how we're looking. So we're pretty much almost done with this part, I'm guessing. But that's the interior. Um, so that completes part number 14 now. So onwards and upwards to 15. Again, we've got 15 and 16 left in those five parts per month. Um, oh, some interesting information about a B-Wing. So it looks like we're switching gears a little bit from the Falcon. Admiral Akbar. 
how to land the starship. Okay. So I'll pull it up a little bit so you can see it. Behind the scenes. And next step. So it's like we're doing some framing. So we've got some internal details, details, and we're assembling some more bottom frames this time. So all this lot's going together. I'm guessing we're using the parts we have left over from the last couple of um, issue, issues, um, ribs, and we're going to end up like this. So I think we're doing the upper side. Um, well, no, that's fitting the plates onto this guy we did already. So just simple kind of what we've done before. So just taking all these parts of frames and the connectors and basically screwing them all together. So 15, stage 15 is a pretty simple stage, just adding three pieces of frame on, same way um, with the brackets. And um, yeah, it does say on um, last page here to test fit all the panels. It's kind of pointless really, to be honest with you, because you're not actually attaching them and they kind of fall off. So I'm not involving with that stage right now. I guess we can take care of the panels once we get to that part. Um, but if you're not screwing them on, it's, it's really yeah, redundant to do that. Um, so yeah, again, just these few pages, just putting on these three pieces. Um, nothing really crazy to talk about. So that's stage 15. Again, we're getting bigger and bigger with this um, yeah, giant falcon. And on to 16 and the final part. Lando Carizion's modifications. Walk-in wardrobe. Oh, there you go. Um, falcon's layout. Again, a lot of information about the interior. This is really cool. Showing you different areas. We're obviously in this area here is what we just built earlier on. And um, we've got the cockpit stage too. And next parts. So basically got some tube, piece of frame. We're going to assemble the corridor, put in more of these, um, these guys in. Cushion pads going onto the, um, the frame. And um, we have one more piece of framing to add. And again, after stage 15, you can turn it over and test fit it, but don't attach anything. You can temporarily fit them, but don't support the panels. So I don't know why, maybe they're kind of dragging this on for future parts, but yeah, these panels you don't add. So it's getting a little confusing. We've got so many panels now. I don't know why we can't just add them, but I guess we'll find out later on. Um, so it takes a little bit of time to cut all these guys off and put them on. So I'm going to do these, um, again, as always, off camera. Let me show you the parts. I think the last couple I've got to show you, but there's nothing really much to um, talk about. Again, part 16. And what I will show you too in a minute is the amount of trash you get. Um, this is certainly environmentally friendly, this part works. So a couple more packs of screws. Got another panel. Got a frame. A couple of corridor parts. And so far, just from this you know, box, this is the um, the trash I've accumulated. <laughs> so again, not not most environmentally friendly, but anyway. So there we go. So um, I get to work on this one. Um, and again, this is a final stage here. If we're doing today sixteen, and um, we get this one put together pretty easily, I think. Okay, so the passageway is done, and looking pretty cool. Now my tip to shred your fingers trying to click all these in place definitely use glue and as i mentioned before using the tamiya cement not the extra thin the gloopier resin kind of one which also comes in a hexagonal bo bottle i think if you're in the us um but the cement and just dab a little bit on and click these guys in place now i click them all in place and then once i had like the, the um like the semicircle i took my little sanding stick here and just sanded down the edges um all in one go just sand it down each side and we're good to go and just tap with glue just to hold these in place Again, be careful with screws. It's the smaller screws, um, not these longer brass screws. It's a smaller screw right there. Um, I did accidentally put a longer one through, and as you can see, I broke plastic a little bit there, um, but whatever. So, yeah, that's kind of where we're at. And then the one panel, extending this guy, put this panel on, and again, we're getting pretty big and heavy. And um, if, again, it's pointless test fitting these panels because without the um, screws, they're not going to stay in place. So there we go, wearing my nice new hat and um, another five parts done. 16 in, um, what, that leaves us um, 94 to go. So making good progress. So the interior is taking shape. As you can see, 
a little bit of work on that one. And um, passageway done this one. And more importantly, the giant frame starting to come together to get an idea of size. Now it's getting heavy and this is barely, you know, it's not even what, maybe a fifth of, the, of one side of the bottom. We've got so about 10 times the weight that this is going to be. And this weighs pretty heavy already. So making progress. Now, again, this is not a um, quick two minute deal. I mean, we, I spent most of my morning working on this one, to be honest with you. Obviously, I was filming a little bit, but it doesn't take too much time with these videos. But yeah, pleasantly surprised. I did the Eagle Moss bullet car, bullet Mustang um, a couple of years ago, and I found uh, each of these stages. I mean, a I'll get a box and knock it out in like five minutes and be done. Like it'd just be like a door or a um, something very easy. Whereas, you know, again, there's a lot of work lot going into this one. And um, yeah, pretty good. And you, this is the basic, you know, bare minimum. You can go to town, you know, weathering this one and, and hyper detailing it. Scratch building, got these beautiful pictures in the, in the, in the books here um, you can reference. So yeah, coming along nicely. Um, and there we go. So as always, please hit the subscribe button if you haven't done so already. It really helps the channel out and all kinds of content coming up, including Star Wars content. As you're following this video from Lenny Falcon, I'm shooting like Star Wars, and I just 3D printed this Stormtrooper helmet, which I'm working on in the background for a future video as well. Um, that's fit in my head, it's human sized. Um, so yeah, all kinds of fun stuff coming in 2024. So thank you for bearing with me for this year. Have a great holidays, and I'll see you next year. Bye.